Okay, there they go. Territorial. Alright, so we down Kate. Now she's slow as shit. Look at her, look at her. <laughs> Yo! Hi. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> Let me explain though, this is the idea behind this. Okay, so with Basement Demogorgon, we're gonna use agitation to get into Basement. Territorial to know when someone's going in for the save. We'll have a portal at the top of Basement Stairs. Once they save, we teleport back. That will activate Make Your Choice before we get there. Then we down the person who saved. Then activate Forced Hesitation, and the person that got off the hook is then 20% slower. 20% slower! for the next 10 seconds, and hopefully I can catch it up, up to them in time, get them down as well, and then get two in basement. And if we can do that, by that time, force hesitation would be off cooldown, and we could do it again, and ideally win the game off of that. Oh, nice, we get to play demo on the new map. First game of demo on the new map. I'm curious to see what this is like. Let's try and spot basement. I think it can spawn right here, but it didn't. Okay, so I think basement's in shack. Basement shack. Yes, it is. Okay. Bro, my skin makes it look like I fit in with this with this planet. Oh, okay. Oh, he vaulted. Really? Okay. Well, this portal needs to go down anyways. Oh, hi. Did he just run away? Oh no. Is that lucky break? Oh god, he has lucky break on this map? God help me. Oh fuck, where'd he go? Okay, here he is. Whew. Okay, perfect. This guy goes down right at basement. Wonderful. Yeah, this is a great start. We got shock pallet and an early basement down. This could be very good. Dude, the only thing about this build that I wish I could have would be save the best for last. Save the best for last would make it perfect, but then you gotta let go of something, and you'd have to let go of agitation because make your choice and territorial are necessities. You need those perks. Unless you're just a prediction god and you can just know when someone's gonna be someone's gonna be going in the basement, but there's no way that's gonna happen realistically. So like, you'd have to get lucky and not have Agi and then have save the best for last. But if you had uh, Stabiffle stacks, then it could be even insane. More, it could be completely insane. <clears throat> Can I grab you? Oh man, he gets the fast vault still. Look at him though. <laughs> he just comes nowhere. He can't go anywhere. We can take him to basement too. <laughs> this is insane. We got Fang right there. Let's see, if, if the ace is quick, he might be able to pick her up. Don't you do it. Leave her alone, leave her alone. Come here, bud. Okay, force hesitations off cooldown. We can just get it again right here. It don't even matter. We can down ace. Now the guy's slow again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, you know what? We'll take the two hooks. I was gonna say I might want to just go chase the guy again. <laughs> he can't even get out of basement. Oh, I saw you, David. Alright, come with me. We can get three in basement. GG. I think that's it. Yeah, this guy's not even here for the safe. This build is nasty. This is such a dirty build. Holy man. Unless Ace has deliverance. Will he Kobe? 
Let's see. Nope. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. We're just gonna take this in. I love this build. This is like, it's so dumb, but it's like so effective. We got, uh, we got three in our back pocket. Hello. See, the only problem with this build, like having to run force hesitation, is just the fact that like right here, I'm not even sure if I can make her to basement because I don't have iron grasp as well. Like this is going to be close. I think I can make it. I think. I just don't really know what I would swap. Territorial is a necessity. Make your choice is a necessity. Force hesitation is the whole reason we're running the build. And I think agitation, if you had to just run one or the other, I think agi is better. So... I will take that hit. And Carlos is dead. Let's get the build going. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, she's super slow. <laughs> this build is fucking awesome. As long as she doesn't DS me, dude, please don't. <laughs> I love this. Okay, I'm not gonna go for basement. Let's just take it for a, a quick second hook. I'll take a quick second hook. And then we'll get Carlos in basement. You basically just return to basement, down the person, and then tunnel the person who got saved, and then wait at make sure it's 10 seconds for their endurance. And then you just get a second hook right off the bat. Boom. Two hooks right there. Dude, this is sick. And now I can chase her now, and she's dead. She's already death hook. That's completely fine. Going back would not be as valuable as just killing her. Well, Ada. Sorry, man. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> GG. Yeah, man. I don't know if they needed to buff it to 20%. This perk was good at 15%. Making it a 20% hinder. It's just, just like unnecessary. And so, like, right here, same thing. He goes down. Look at her movement speed. This is with her having the haste that you get off hook, too. <laughs> oh, I didn't wait long enough. Actually, I think she had off the record. That's with the haste you get off hook. She can't go anywhere. The perk basically promotes some of the most boring stuff in the game. Either slugging or being right at the hook, and then tunneling right off hook. It's perfect for those two situations. Because if you're not in those situations, I mean, what is it good for? You're not, you're not gonna, like, you have to down someone for it to work. So you have to slug. You have to slug to use it. And survivors don't like getting slugged, man. I think this perk is potentially pretty problematic, yeah. Let's say no. Alright, let's see. Do we have basement and main? No, basement's in shack. Okay. We can work with that. It would probably be, it would most likely be better in main, but this is okay. We can work with this. I looked at it. I don't know. He looks weird. I think he looks cool in the cover art, or, or the, uh, the art for it, but I don't know. He looks kind of weird in the skin. Yes. Run to basement. Yes. Dude, this is actually perfect. I don't have any stacks, unfortunately. But he goes down right next to basement. Okay. Now, here's the only here's the only downside. I didn't actually think about this. Here's the only downside with lifeguard whistle. Um. Oh hi. <laughs> Dude, yes. Let's go, Claudette. I was gonna say I have to I have to teleport first. 
have to make sure I teleport, because otherwise the portal doesn't do anything if it's not teleported to, so... Um, I do still have to do this real quick. Once we do this, though... Then we're gaming. Hello, sir. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, I gotta back up. Oh, they're just sealing it, never mind. Let's claw that, too, she's injured. Hi. GG. That's GG. No, sorry, bud. Look at how slow he is! <laughs> Look at how slow he is! Two in basement. Everyone's right here, too. This is completely fine. This is actually good, because now that I have stacks... Oh, okay, yeah, he's just done. Fair enough. Yeah, this guy already knows. <laughs> this guy already knows. He's like, he's like, man, fuck this. Is that a person? No. I think with where I placed it, they can't get by. Well, I don't think Lori can get by without me not knowing. They're all dead. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh shit, 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 wait, wait, wait. Come on, rotten, rotten green tripe, let's go, baby! Beautiful. You stay here. Hold on. GG. <laughs> This is, this is dumb. I don't know how they would change this perk to make it so that it's not strong, like, in this situation. How do they fix the perk so it doesn't shine in situations like this? What do they do? They'd have to drastically reduce the movement speed penalty, but then why would you run it? If they drastically reduce the movement speed penalty, then there's just no reason to even run it in the first place. Because, I mean, this playstyle is pretty fucking dumb. But then again, here's the thing. This is very strong. It's a very strong, very, like, boring, we'll say. It's pretty boring. Uh, playstyle. But do I really care about running this when Leatherface can just do this by simply existing near basement? It's okay. We can just wait. so dumb. <laughs> it's just so stupid, man. <laughs> like, even if she had a sliver of a chance to get out of that, Force Hesitation says, nah, fuck you. You'll be 20% slower for the next 10 seconds. Like, there is no way she's getting out of that. There's literally no way. Unless I bump. I have to bump. She is, like, 100% dead. Unless I bump. <laughs> 